It's time for the Coach's Corner Show with your host, Pat DiCibato. Hello and welcome to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. I'm your host, Pat DiCibato from the Daily Southtown newspaper. And we're at Marist High School, 115th and a little bit west of Pulaski Road on Chicago's south side. We've got an action-packed show for you tonight, folks. First off, we're going to have football coach Ron Dawzak. Ron's in his second season, coming off an 11-1 season last year. They're rolling again. They're 7-1, 6-0 in the East Suburban Catholic Conference, coming off a 42-6 win over Marion Central, and they are traveling to Bennett Friday night, 7.30 p.m. They win it. They win the conference outright. So Red Hawks are looking really, really good, playing their best ball right now as the postseason beckons next week. We're also going to have on quarterback Mike Marquette, one of the top quarterbacks in the area, huge dual threat kid, arms and legs. This kid gets it done, man, a returning starter. And beyond that, just a great kid, high academic achiever, 28 on the ACT, 5.1 GPA. So uh, Mike's going to be our second guest. And then we're going to have on Dr. James Leonard uh, from Midwest Orthopedic Consultants. Dr. Leonard's been a guest of ours uh, the, the past couple of years. So. A lot of good things in store. Sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, and uh, Coach's Corner Show's rolling, man. We're going to go to a Beggar's Pizza timeout. Remember, go to beggarspizza.com, join the Big Cheese Loyalty Program, plenty of perks, get some Beggar's Bucks, and get some great pizza. All right, we come back. Marist football coach Ron Dawzak will be our guest. Stay tuned. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. Hello, boys. I'm a drop-dead gorgeous pepperoni sausage whole the vegetables deep dish pizza. Mmm, just look at my cheese. Your place or mine. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. Thank you, Coach's Corner, for celebrating all these great athletes. Now celebrate the American classic with Apple Chevy. Classics like the Chevy Impala. Originating in 1958, the Chevy Impala is older than the states Hawaii and Alaska. It still holds its sleek and stylish design with a focus on luxury. It has the option to have the power of 305 horses. Don't take my word for it. Come test drive it today at Apple Chevy. Having surgery or dealing with some type of nagging pain that limits your function? Then get to Athletics. We offer treatment for all types of orthopedic injuries, work-related injuries, and sports injuries. Therapists with over 20 years of experience provide treatment that is efficient and effective. Our 2,000 square foot clinics offer state-of-the-art equipment from HydroTrack, Blankenship, and Biodex. If your doctor suggests physical therapy, then you suggest Athletics where every patient is treated like a champion. Hi, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. All right, our first guest tonight, Marist football coach, Ron Dawzak. Ron, how's it going, my man? Real good, thanks for having me tonight. Thanks for coming on board. Uh, Red Hawks are rolling, sitting at 7-1, 6-0 in East Suburban Catholic. They play Bennett Friday night, 7-30. All right, my man, um, as you enter this final week of the regular season, what are you most pleased about with this team? You know, I'm, I'm pleased with the fact that we're continuing to get better week in and week out. I mean, that's our goal is, you know, to play the best football at the end of the season. And we, we've taken a step forward each and every week. Um, and we are kind of hitting our stride right now, getting ready for the, for the end of the season and the playoffs. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Yeah, right? absolutely. <laughs> right. That's what, that's, as a coach, that's what I want to see. That's what you want to see, man. Um, so where have you seen, you think, the most growth? in this team if you look back to week one I, I know there are some questions some inexperience with the offensive line but where have you seen the most growth do you believe i think i, I think i've seen the most growth in the fact that our, our kids are just willing to fight for everything um they're you know they don't give an inch they you know they they want to make sure that um teams know that they're in for a battle and and i think that we've really taken a step forward this year from the beginning even from the beginning of the season to now just guys know when they're playing playing against us it's a 48 minute game and they're going to get our best for 48 minutes yep um our next guest mike market your your quarterback i mean he's putting up some great numbers on the air on the ground high academic kid um what makes this kid so special I think the thing that makes him stand out is that he is just a competitor. 
He's, he's a very, very intelligent football player, very tough kid, um, and he, he just he makes the right, the right reads. We put a lot on his plate. He, he drives our offense, and he can beat teams with, it, with his arm and, yeah. and his legs. He's a great runner. He's smart with his reads. I mean, he's you know, being asked on certain plays to you know, decide whether it's going to be a run or a pass, and he's making the right decisions, and he's making teams, you know, he's, he's taking what teams give him, yeah. and, he, and he's been really, really successful at it. And that's probably where that high academic thing comes in, right? He's, it, he's a smart it, it, absolutely. Kid, man. It, it helps. It <laughs> helps to have that in, that high intelligence. <laughs> All right, let's talk about some uh, some other weapons you have in offense, particularly you know your receiver Jaden Thompson, who has 14, 15 D one offers. At last time, I probably more than that now. I um, mean, he's only a junior. And uh, Billy Skalitsky, a senior, I know he plays a little receiver, plays some halfback for you. Um, but talk about their contributions and some other kids on the offense. I mean, we're, we're blessed. We have a lot of playmakers on, 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 in this offense. And like you said, Billy's versatility is, is something that, um, you know, we take advantage of. He's, he's a great runner. He's great with the ball in his hands. So we try to give him, you know, different opportunities to touch the ball, whether it's in space at receiver or, you know, running the ball um, from the halfback position. Yep. He's, he's been, a, been one of our top performers this, this year. And and then when you when you combine that with with Jaden's ability to you know as a game breaking receiver on the outside, um, teams can only try to stop so much on an offense. So we're you know if, if they do load up uh, you know on Jaden if they if they play double coverage on him, we have other guys that can hurt him in the passing game and the, in the running game as well. So we're, we're, we're lucky um, teams that, that that try to take one thing away from us, we, we have the other options out there to, to you know try to yeah. you know, hurt a defense. I'm sure you're tough to game plan against, man. That, that's for sure. You know, and even uh, at it from a but Mike's ability to beat you with the run and passing the ball, and then you got these other weapons, man. It's a it's a tough team to game plan, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean that's that's the thing, and, and, and along the way too, we've got you know our offensive line. You know we, we've got some younger guys in there this year too. We have two senior leaders, George Finelli and Frank Sheen, and those guys have gotten better week in and week out too. So you yeah. know we're like like you said, I think we're, we we are a tough team to game plan for because we have a lot of a lot of talent on the offensive positions. Well, we, we can't say you know this defense has been pretty special too, man. Ninety-seven points allowed all season, and with your schedule, man. I mean you, you've had a schedule that second to none. Um, what's been the key to their effectiveness? It, it, that team too. I mean, the, the, the defensive side of the ball. They're a bunch of scrappers. They're they're guys that like to get after it. Um, hard nosed kids that um, aren't afraid. You know, of any, of line up against anybody. And, and they're they're smart football players. I mean, we've got some of the guys. You know, that are it's like extra coaches on the field. Uh, Charlie Lawrence Sell has been having a great a great yeah. season. Um, you know, he's a ball hawk. You know, guys that just fly around to the ball. Guys that um, you know. Play contact um, and play play together as a unit. It's eleven guys playing really as one unit, and and, and that's a recipe for success. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, well, you went to Nazareth in week seven. This was a big game. They're having a great season. Uh, big uh, East Suburban Catholic League game, and you guys come away with a 34-13 victory. Um, was this your most complete win? Do you think of the season? I would I would say so. You know that was that was a game where we had you know offense, defense, and special teams were clicking. We had you know there was some a little uh, motivation for our guys. You know playing playing Nazareth, uh, they were you know ranked highly ranked team. Yep. Uh, a lot of teams were picking them to beat us. Uh, you know at, at their place. So you know our guys walked in with a kind of a chip on their shoulder and wanted to prove some people you know that Marist Marist football is you know we're, we're a tough team um, and we, we we really brought it that night on all sides of the ball. Yep. Um, well, you got another big one to end the regular season. You got to go up to Bennett uh, Friday night. How important is it to this team? You know the difference between finishing eight and one and going to the eight eight playoffs and finishing seven and two going to the 8A playoffs? I think it's very important for us. You know, we we want to have that momentum going into the playoffs. So to go in with a with, with a win versus a loss, I think is a big thing. Um, you know, our guys' confidence is high right now. And we want to yeah. keep, you know, we want to keep it that way. We want to be playing our best football, um, you know, at the end of the season. So to continue to get better um, and, and, and play well in week nine would be huge for us going into the playoffs. Again, to keep that momentum, to keep that higher seed yeah. um, is, is the in the, in the bracket. So it, it's very important for us to play well and to, and to, and to play our, play as good a game as we can on Friday. Another clean game. Well, the big news a couple weeks ago was the announcement that the Catholic League and the East Suburban Catholic Conference are, are merging. Uh, football only for now, but I got a feeling that might you know, bleed into other sports. But for now, starting next year, you guys are merging. What are your thoughts on this? I'm very excited about, about that. I think there's some great natural rivalries in the neighborhood here, and, and, and the merger gives us an opportunity to be able to play more of those schools on a, on a you know, every every year, yep. uh, you know, hopefully. So I think it's great. I think it's great for the neighborhood. It's great for the, the, the eighth graders here. You know, it's something for for the whole community to be excited about. And, and, and I, for one, am really excited about it. And it should cut down on some travel. 
It should. If it they sh do this correctly, right? I hope so. I hope so. Because <laughs> you guys have some crazy trips, man. You we, know, we do it, and like like I said, ge just geographically with the schools being right down the street, it, it'd be great to, to to play them. And you know, I'm sure the uh, the, the bus trips will be uh, a little shorter, and, and nobody's going to complain about that. <laughs> yeah, I think if they put Marist in with you know Rice and Rita and Carmel, I mean, that could be a really unbelievable conference division however they're going to break this thing up it would, be, it would be unbelievable there's a lot of great teams um you know in, in both conferences and, and to throw them in, in one conference is going to be is going to be great it's going to be very very exciting the, the regular season is going to be <laughs> very interesting next year yep all right so i know you guys uh, you know in terms of shadow days uh the people go on our website you guys have specific days for shadow days and when the entrance exam is is it december 1st december 1st so december yes. 1st for that so you can go on the website and check that out but in terms of shadow days what do people need to do to try and set something up with that so we do our shadow days every friday from now through the end of november uh we you can register online it takes about two minutes online or you can call our admissions director and, and do it over the phone we also do take up take walk up walk ups okay. so um registrate you can register or not and we'll and we'll set you up with a shadow and have a great experience on a friday at marist is it all day friday is it pretty it, much yeah yeah all day they, the kids come in at eight o'clock and they get dismissed at about two okay great great all right, Ronnie, good to see you, my man. Right. Having a great season. Keep it rolling, all right? Thanks for having me. All right, folks, we are going to go to a Lisa Thomas Salon timeout. Remember, three locations, Mokina, Orland, Tinley Park. High school guys, $17 for a haircut. High school girls, $27 for a haircut. Great deal. Just show your high school ID. We come back. We're going to have the big man on campus, Maris quarterback Mike Marquette will be our guest. Stay tuned. At Lisa Thomas Salon, we think loving yourself and your selfie starts with the perfect stylist. That's why we've assembled an amazing team, each with a unique passion for beauty, providing the perfect combination of innovation and experience, then adding just a little bit of fun. For hair, skin, nails, and makeup, no one does beautiful like Lisa Thomas, because life's too exciting to settle for the same old thing. Schedule today at Lisa Thomas Salon, a Redken Elite partner with three area locations. Bob's Auto Body and Repair in Blue Island has been prospering since 1968 when Robert Warniak Sr. opened a business. Bob's goal? To go above and beyond to satisfy their customers. Whether it's a small ding or a major collision repair, Bob's is a trained technician and state-of-the-art equipment to meet the high standards their customers expect and that Bob's demands. Bob's also offers complete mechanical services for your automobile, from an oil change to brake repairs. Mention this ad, Bob's will detail your car for free with any auto body work or give you a free oil change with any mechanical work. Bob's Auto Body and Repair, Blue Island. If you're suffering from physical pain, nothing else matters. The one thing that should is Midwest Orthopedic Consultants because experience never mattered more. Serving the community for 25 years with over 90 years of combined orthopedic experience, our fellowship trained surgeons provide individualized care to those suffering from orthopedic pain. We deliver comprehensive care from diagnostic to surgical to rehabilitative services, all under one roof in each of our locations. Midwest Orthopedic Consultants, bringing university level orthopedic care close to home. Welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. Our next guest tonight, senior quarterback, Mike Marquette. Mike, how's it going, my man? Good, how are you? Thanks for coming on board. Big night for Mike. He took time out of his schedule. He's being inducted to the National Honor Society tonight, man. Congrats on that. 5.1 GPA, 28 on the ACT. That's getting it done, my man. That's what you call a student athlete, so congrats. Thank okay? you. All right, man, so you guys are sitting 7-1. and one. When, you, when you think back uh, of week one, uh, the game against Brother Rice. Where have you seen the biggest improvement uh, in this team? Uh, I think definitely, you know, as a group, confidence and execution. You know, we've gotten a lot more close knit as the season's gone by, and you know, everybody's had each other's backs, and it's everybody's, you know, like correcting each other on the little things. Everyone's holding each other accountable, so it's a good thing to see. Close knit group, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, I know talking to you before the season, one of the biggest concerns was the offensive line because you, you had some inexperience there. Um, now, as you, as you enter week nine against Bennett, how much has this offensive line developed? Um, you know, I've seen growth from the first day in summer to the last day in summer, and from the first game to now, it's it's pretty unbelievable. Um, you know, our two seniors, our guards, uh, Frank Sheen and George Finale, they've really taken the reins of that group, yeah. and uh, some of our young guys have just been following along them. And they've done everything we've asked, and you know they've stepped up a lot. So, 
Well, you guys are putting up some points, man. So what is the key? You got some great pieces, obviously, on offense with, with yourself and Billy Skalitsky and Jaden Thompson. You got, you got a bunch of weapons. But what makes this offense so potent? Um, yeah, I think it's the selflessness of our guys. You know, a lot of teams, when we go in, they don't really realize that all of our receivers are a threat. You know, everybody's fast. Everybody blocks hard. Everybody runs good routes. And, you know, for me as a quarterback, that's awesome. I could go to my second and third read with just as much confidence as the first. And uh, you know, everybody does, has been doing their job on every single play, regardless of his, if the ball's going that, to them or not. Yep. And uh, I think that's what's making us a special group. And you haven't had to run too much this year, huh? It's scaled back a little bit, or is it? Um, I mean, I actually ran a lot against Nazareth, but, um, you know, if coach calls my number, we, our O line's been taking care of business, so yep. I've been confident. And, you know, if nothing's there, I feel fine running as well. Yep. All right. Um, all right, so you know we talked about your GPA. Obviously, you're a high academic guy. Um, what are some of the colleges looking at, and what's it going to take for you to say this is the place I want to spend the next four years? Um, so I definitely won't decide till after the season. But uh, some key things I've looked for, I've visited a few schools, and you know just feeling like home. You know, feeling somewhere where if I didn't play football, would I feel comfortable there? Yep. And uh, so I've applied to Drake University, um, University of Chicago. I'm um, still talking to Cornell a little bit, and I'm just going to see what doors open up for me and just see what's the right fit for me. Yep, you got options, man. And Mike was telling me before we taped that he, you know, he's a very good writer, creative writer. I told him, don't get in the journalism business. Stay out of the journalism business, man. Um, all right, so, you know, it's probably been a blink of an eye. It hasn't been four years here at Marist, and uh, what's this whole experience? When you look back at this thing, no matter what happens in the postseason, I mean, you look back at your four years here, not only from an athletic standpoint, but academically, socially, what's it been like here for you? Man? Um, I mean, like you said, blink of an eye, it's crazy. When we're in that film room every week and coach says it's week seven, it's week eight, and now they're saying it's week nine, I, I can't believe it. And, you know, me, some of my buddies talk about it a lot, like, where the time go, and uh, it has always been a place where, even before I went here, you know, coming to the games, where I felt like it was a second home to me. And you know, the amount of hours I've been here in my four years yeah. probably is <laughs> it really is a second home. And you know, it's just been a lot of fun, and everybody's supportive, so you know, it's just a great place to be. Yep. And speaking of fun, how about you and your your younger brother hooking up on a touchdown pass last week? Right? How cool was that? Uh, it was definitely a special moment for him and me and my family, and. Uh, you know, that'll be with us forever. So yep. that is cool, man. That is, that is awesome. All right, Mike. Well, thank you very much thank for very coming much. on board again, man. Good luck the rest of the season. Get inside there and enjoy <laughs> that NHS uh, situation, okay? All right, well, thank All right you. folks, we're, we're going to go to an athletics timeout. Remember our good buddy Tom Mulvey from Athletic Sports and Orthopedic Physical Therapy. We come back. Dr. James Leonard from Midwest Orthopedic Consultants will be our guest. Stay tuned. Athletic Sports and Orthopedic Physical Therapy is a 2200 square foot facility that includes the latest in rehabilitation equipment, including the HydroTrack underwater treadmill. All therapists at Athletics are experienced and offer hands-on treatment for patients that require such therapy. Whether it's your feet, ankles, knees, hips, lower back, shoulders, elbows, wrists, neck or jaw, Athletics is here to help. We at Athletics understand you as a patient have the right to choose where you receive treatment. Ask your physician if Athletics, with locations in Oaklawn and Orland Park, is right for you. Whether you're in the mood for a Chicago-style hot dog, Italian beef sandwich, Philly cheesesteak, or charbroiled cheeseburger, Joey's Red Hots has you covered. In the mood for something lighter, Joey's salads promises to hit the spot. Looking to cool off on a hot day or after a workout? Joey's refreshing homemade Italian ice will satisfy. Come check out Joey's Red Hots at 17400 Wolf Road in Orland Park or at 115th Street and Western Avenue in the Beverly community where they're open until 5 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. No matter which location you visit, Joey's Red Hots promises to provide exceptional tasting food at an affordable price. We came up with a bunch of clever commercial ideas to entice you into trying Beggar's Pizza. We decided to let the food speak for itself. I'm a half sausage for you and your husband and a half just cheese for the kids who never seem to stop moving. Go ahead and take the night off, Mom. I got you covered. Beggar's Pizza. We lay it on thick. 
welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. All right, our next guest tonight, Dr. James Leonard from Midwest Orthopedic Consultants, two locations, Oak Lawn and Orland Park. Dr. Leonard, thanks for coming oh, on board Thank you again, for having right? me once again, yes. Proud 97 grad of Sandberg, former soccer player over there, and now the team doctor here at Marist at Sandberg and Andrew High School. So you're a busy man. I have, yeah. We just took over Andrew um, this fall season, and so it's been a nice addition to the to the group of uh, schools that we've been covering. Yeah, that's so. very nice, man. All right, so explain to our viewers, um, you know, kind of Midwest Orthopedic Consultants approach to a high school athlete. Yeah, well, you know, I think that um, the diagnoses are the same. The pathologies are exactly the same, whether I'm treating a high school athlete or a 45-year-old recreational athlete. There's a couple of things that are different about the high school athlete. Number one is, you know, they have a short season. Seasons are two, three months. So there's definitely a sense of urgency with which I think you have to approach the high school athlete that sometimes gets missed. Um, the other thing about the high school athlete is that you're not just treating the athlete, you're treating the parents, you're dealing with the, the trainers and the coaches and trying to work on taking care of all of them and communicating with all of them. And so, you know, when I came in from Vanderbilt, one of my goals with starting up the sports medicine practice at Midwest Orthopedics was to try to give it more of a, a college approach. So when I was with Vanderbilt with SEC football, we had a way of treating athletes and I tried to bring that approach to the high school athlete. And I think it's made um, a really big improvement in terms of the care that we're giving these athletes. Yeah, big time, man. Um, so what type of different procedures does the MOC offer patients? I know, you know, you got dislocations, you got replacements, everything, right? There's a lot of different things. Well, I think that, you know, the number one goal is that, especially from a sports medicine standpoint, is our goal is to not operate on, on patients. Uh, a lot of times parents and, and athletes and, and any patient is, is really afraid to come in because I'm an orthopedic surgeon. Yep. So they see surgeon and they're like, oh, this guy's going to want to operate on me. I don't want to have anything to do with that. And that's a very small percentage of the, uh, the work that I do. I would see a majority of patients, you know, if I operated on every athlete I saw, Maris and Sam and Andrew wouldn't want to have anything to do with me. <laughs> so Coach Dozak would not be interested. So um, we try to do a lot of these different types of things. You know, we work with physical therapy. Um, we, we do a lot of education in terms of home exercises. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on now with orthobiologics and doing just a lot of injectables that people think is just being used on professional athletes, but we're doing them in our office and it's helping patients get back to play faster. And then if they do need surgery, a lot of the things now are being done arthroscopically, so yep. minimally invasive. Um, I've had a couple of kids that um, have gotten injured early in the year that have had surgery that are back and are actually able to finish their last few weeks of their senior season, which I think is important. Yep. Um, I don't want them their final uh, thought of sports being an injury. So yes. I want them back doing doing things and playing and being out there for senior night and those kinds of activities. So I think that's very important. Yeah, how do you think it's enhanced your, your ability to do this? Because you were a former athlete and obviously you have some great memories at Sandberg. So how has it kind of transitioned uh, into your practice? Well, I think it's just understanding kind of the mindset of the athlete and, and understanding kind of where they're at, but also giving them an appropriate perspective because every game that they're going to play is the biggest game of their life. Right. Yeah. You know, it's it's super, whether they're in fourth grade and they're playing in the district championship or whether they're in high school playing in their fourth week or ninth week or into the playoffs, it's about giving them the right perspective about knowing when it's safe to be aggressive and let them play and also letting them know and letting the parents know when it's time to take a step back and look at the big picture yep. so I think that that perspective I think is important and I think that if you don't have a history of playing you may not get that perspective and again treat that patient a little bit differently than you should yep now we have to mention because you know Todd Mensick a fellow Sandberg alum and an employee of, of MOC correct that's correct big news he is being inducted into the Sandberg Hall of Fame he is. Yes, and that's true. That that's that's big time. So we have to offer him a congratulations, don't we? I mean, that's that's that, he should have been the inaugural class last year. I mean, the second year, but he's in. But you should have been in the first year. But it's that's pretty awesome. He, man. He, he's very good, and you know what? Um, he he's the most humblest guy that you can meet. You wouldn't look at him and know that he was a a, a really high class athlete talking with him, and that's yep. what I appreciate about him most. Um, but I did say that I do want a picture of him when he gets his jacket. If he doesn't get a jacket, I will buy him a jacket because I really want to see him in a jacket that has HOF on it or something along those lines. So, you know, maybe we can get the guys at Samberg to pitch in and get him a jacket. Yeah, get so. something embroidered for him, man. You know, HOF and just the man. Because right. he was the man. He was a heck of a baseball player over there, man. Had a tremendous career. 
career at Mississippi and Oakland A's organization. So Todd was, uh, he was a stud, man. Okay. All right, Dr. Leonard, thank very you very good. much thank for your you. time. I appreciate right. it. Okay. Have a great week. Uh, we are going to go to a Labriola Bakery Cafe timeout when we return players of the week. Stay tuned. Looking for a unique dining experience with incredible food? Then check out Labriola Bakery Cafe. Opened by Rich Labriola, Chicago's premier artisan baker, you know they'll have great bread, but you won't believe the rest of their menu. Wood-fired Neapolitan pizzas, fresh pasta, and their world-famous Richie Burger. There's also homemade gelato, and of course, their famous bread. Labriola Bakery Cafe and Neapolitan Pizzeria. Conveniently located in the Oak Brook Promenade. At Lisa Thomas Salon, we think loving yourself and your selfie starts with the perfect stylist. That's why we've assembled an amazing team, each with a unique passion for beauty, providing the perfect combination of innovation and experience. Then adding just a little bit of fun for hair, skin, nails, and makeup. No one does beautiful like Lisa Thomas because life's too exciting to settle for the same old thing. Schedule today at Lisa Thomas Salon, a Redken Elite partner with three area locations. Whether you're in the mood for a Chicago-style hot dog, Italian beef sandwich, Philly cheesesteak, or charbroiled cheeseburger, Joey's Red Hots has you covered. In the mood for something lighter, Joey's Salads promises to hit the spot. Looking to cool off on a hot day or after a workout? Joey's refreshing homemade Italian ice will satisfy. Come check out Joey's Red Hots at 17400 Wolf Road in Orland Park or at 115th Street and Western Avenue in the Beverly community where they're open until 5 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. No matter which location you visit, Joey's Red Hots promises to provide exceptional tasting food at an affordable price. Thank you, Coach's Corner, for celebrating all these great athletes. Now celebrate the American Classic with Apple Chevy. Classics like the Chevy Impala. Originating in 1958, the Chevy Impala is older than the states Hawaii and Alaska. It still holds its sleek and stylish design with a focus on luxury. It has the option to have the power of 305 horses. Don't take my word for it. Come test drive it today at Apple Chevy. All right, folks, welcome back to the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by Beggar's Pizza. Oh, look, let's go to our players of the week, the Labriola Bakery Cafe, Golden Baguette Player of the Week. We're going to hook up Mount Carmel quarterback Rad Primovic, completed 11 of 15 passes for 212 yards and three touchdowns. He also had two rushing TDs to lead the caravan to a 40-0 win over St. Lawrence. We'll hook him up with a nice $25 gift card. Compliments to Labriola Bakery Cafe in Oak Brook and Chicago. The Lisa Thomas Salon Team Club Player of the Week, Lincoln Way Central golfer Brianne Bolden, finished in second place at the Class 2A State Finals with scores of 74 and 67. Finished with a 141, which was one stroke behind the champion. But that's a, that's a great score, man. So we're going to hook up Brianne with a nice gift certificate. Compliments to Lisa Thomas Salon in Mokina, Tinley Park, and Orland Park. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed the week. No high and tight this week. We'll get it next week. We'll see you next week.